Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Lid's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, well, we debunked the best uh, logic and everything, and well, now it seems like they're suspecting a Delicious Scones now, and it's like, really? Can it be her? But she had, like, uh, what's her name? Courtney says, well, answer us one question and we'll let, it, we'll let you help us out. She's like, who set off the poison gas? And, well, considering we can el eliminate, like, five people here, that's like, not him, not him, not her, um, so not these people. Only, it all actually only makes sense uh, the only person who's actually in the room could open the case or to set off the poison gas. And wasn't he... Yeah, he, well, he was in front of the poison, um, in front of the Autumn Palace, but... If he breathes in it so much, that means that he must have been in close vicinity, and most likely that he was in it, and, well, probably the most likely one to actually open it. So, he was probably who set it off. There was no one in the Autumn Palace other than the victim, Dane, um, uh, Dane Kostavia. It's hard to believe it could have been anyone but him. It seems, it seems that way. Very well, I'll allow you to participate this time. However, if I feel you are a hindrance, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. But I don't. What I don't understand is why the victim opened that case. So, Mr. Edgers, what shall I recreate? Based on information we've gathered so far, let's recreate the scene before the gas. Got it. And away we go. Sweet. Whoa! Don't scare me like that! So this is the true power of Sir Thief. Yep. See like how everything is covered up there, like the bottom uh, halves of it and everything. Let's investigate the Pisces sculpture post haste. There, uh, there's frozen normalium on the lid of the Pisces sculpture's glass case. It's frozen so thick you can even uh, you can't even open the lid. An actual glass case, the lid was heavily cracked. It was like someone had it out from uh, had it out for a Pisces sculpture, sir. Do you have any idea how how can it be cracked like this? Hmm. Well, the damage didn't seem to have come from outside a glass case, sir. Let's see. So the inside of the case was below was below freezing point, and the case had developed cracks. There are no signs of external damage. From this, we can deduce below freezing, like Mr. Andrew's cold stare, and cracked. Like Mr. Edgeworth's uh, furrowed brow. Thermal fracturing! The cold case was heated from the outside, causing it to crack. Hmm. But why did thermal fracturing occur here, and what caused it? Hmm. Inside a thermally fractured glass case, there was frozen normalium. Oh? That face means you probably uh, thought of something, Miles. Indeed, I have. I know how Mr. Gust Gustavia was able to open the glass case. What? How can you possibly know something that I don't? I'd say the things that he does know are in the minority. Hey, aren't you gonna let me know? How did Dane Gustavia open the glass case? Well, if there's thermal fracturing, that means there's an extreme temperatures between hot and cold. And I think a good old used gas container or burner would do the trick. It probably heated the glass case, which would would mention the normalium like dripping or kind of like the tears that were in a uh, Larry's sketch. So yeah, I think that makes all that makes sense. This gas burner that was found in the Autumn Palace shows signs of recent use. I believe that this was, that was the cause of the f thermal fracturing of Pisces sculpture's glass case. A gas burner? Why would he use something like that? Oh, I got it. The lid was frozen shut, so he had to use a burn to melt the ice. Indeed, that is correct. Ugh, I just had a late start. I'm still the best, you know. Late start? You didn't even understand a single thing, did you? Well, that's just because Mr. Edger's explanation was hard to follow. Okay, why don't you update the little thief so that he can understand it? If you say so. Right, let's restart the recreation. Ugh. All right. The victim, Dane Gustavia, was the only one to enter the Autumn Palace. 
If he used the gas burner, then the normalium in the glass case would have melted. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then? The melted normalium would have come into contact with the fat fatalium inside the case. And produce the poison gas. The, when, the moment Mr. Uh, Mr. Gustavo opened the lid, he could have begun to inhale the gas. He managed to drag himself out to the fountain patio just before his strength ran out. So he inhaled the gas when he opened the lid. It seems he finally understands. But why did Mr. Gustavia open the glass case in a Pisces uh, sculpture? The victim's goal. That I do not know yet. Perhaps he had the same reason as Uncle Ray. Maybe he actually came to see the Winter Palace, not the Autumn one. Uncle Ray also thought that this was the Winter Palace at first. Oh, you too, Ray Ray? Actually, I thought so too. It looks just like Icy's room from 18 years ago. It's even got the exact same plants in the front, in front of the door. It seems everyone involved in the IS-7 incident made the same mistake. It is it imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately? It is, well, it is imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately. I should suggest that, I should suggest that to Mr. DeBest. I get it now! Yeah, that's how it was! Huh? Did you think of something? The victim committed suicide! He thought he would look refined if he died in an art gallery. Have you ever been li have you even been listening? Well, if you're as smart as me, just hearing half of the story will be enough. Sebastian, I'll explain it from the top later. Top? That means best, right? Alright, I'll leave it to you. Yes, it would indeed be best to let George Courtney to handle him. That aside, don't you have some information to inform everyone of? Oh, I totally forgot! What are you talking about? <laughs> we did a little checking on that pharmacist. We, meaning me, the best. Prosecutor's subordinate. Well, that's not something to brag about. Shut up, you! Quiet down, listen. Suicide is, um, uh, off the table for now, yeah. That's because, um, uh, in short, that pharmacist is the culprit, so she set, up the, she set up the gas as a trap. Oh, no! It's a terrible shame, Miss Pharmacist. How could one in the profession of saving lives stoop to extinguishing them? Huh? What were you saying? I, I would never do such a thing. Mr. DeBest, do you have a basis for these accusations? Hmm. Of course! This is my basis. Her pharmacist license. It would permit her to handle Mechatoxin X, right? And its active ingredient fatalium was one of the components of the poison gas. Exactly! That chemical is almost impossible for ordinary people to obtain. But that pharmacist is another story altogether. It wasn't me! You've got it all wrong! Objection. And that's not all. A bottle of Megaton Megatoxin X is found in a victim's pocket. And on a, on a bottle, we found clear fingerprints. Yours! Uh, eee! You and the creator took the victim to the infirmary, right? That would have given you the perfect opportunity to plant the bottle on him. Well, that's... You are the only pharmacist on the premises who could have handled Megatoxin X. Furthermore, as for the curator of this art gallery, you are an acquaintance of hers. You would have uh, you would have had access to the gallery at any time in order to prepare the poison gas trap. Please wait! That Megatoxin X it was stolen! Trying to lie your way out of this won't go, go well for with me. It's true! Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag! What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm? I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Ah, oh, here! Please take a look at this. Hmm? Some sort of paper. What's it say? April 1st, theft report accepted stolen item Megatoxin X. This is a theft report acceptance certificate. What? Yes, see, the truth is, one week ago, my Megatoxin X was stolen. One week ago? That means you didn't have it with you today. 
guessing. That bottle you just found is probably the one that was stolen from me. I normally carry that bottle of Megatoxin X in my bag at all times. Even though I often forget to keep it locked up. Wait, why does she even keep something like that? I would never think about mixing of Normalium. But why in the world would you carry such a dangerous substance on the armed person? Well, you never know when those things will appear. Those... those... Oh yeah, those creatures that infest the kitchen and strike fear into the heart of the lady, right? Although, if you had a rolled up newspaper, you can just squish them with one blow. Justine, what do we do now? Well then, can we really accept this theft report? Let's ask for confirmation. That should clearly tell us whether or not she's lying. Right! Well then, I'll just call and confirm it. It looks like Miss Delicious is in the culprit. Indeed, if she really did set up the poison gas as a trap, I don't believe she would do it in a way that incriminates her the most. So Miles, what do you think is the culprit? Predicting the actions of the victim it would require a fair amount of advanced planning, and there's only one person who are here capable of that. Huh? I'll go really like to know too! Who do you suspect? The one who stole the Megatoxin X and prepared the room in advance was... Well, like Edgeworth said, the only person who could have... who has the ability and access to do everything. And, unfortunately, the only person that comes to mind is no other than... You know, Catherine Hall. It had to be a curator of the Zodiac Art Gallery. Miss Catherine Hall. However, I still don't have any evidence that she's a criminal yet. I see. She is... The way he said that just now sounded like he has been expecting it. Hmm. Well, good job, Miles. As expected from Uncle Ray's future apprentice. I have no intention of becoming your apprentice. And I will now pronounce the results of my ver verification. I can confirm that her theft report was indeed accepted. Therefore, it's a little too early to come to the decision right now. Hmm. That means your logic was completely faulty. D you're wrong! My real performance is still to come here. Really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? Well, that's a... Uh, well, first we need to speak with the curator. And after that? Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Sebastian, Mr. Gustavia may have had business in the Winter Palace. I believe we should send an investigator there as well. Oh, well, that's good too! Detective Gumshoot, investigate the Winter Palace at once. Ah, uh, got it, sir. Justine, let's go talk to the curator. Yes, let us proceed. We should go and listen to what Miss Hall has to say as well. Yeah, man. Now it's making me starting to think, like, the way when we accused, or, like, was said that, um, Catherine probably was the only one who could possibly do something, and the way uh, Ray said, oh, so she is whatever. And then Edgeworth once again said, oh, the way he said it. Makes me wonder that the in the incident 18 years ago, it could have been her. Who knows? All right, I want you guys to listen to what the curator has to say. Mr. DeBest, weren't you going to go and talk to her yourself? Nah, that's a job for my subordinates. All I have to do is wait for that report. I'm the best prosecutor, after all. Such arrogance. Well, this is anticlimactic. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna chill for a bit. Huh? What's that in the fountain? Ah! Oh god, what is it? Oh, there's a dead body in the fountain! What is the meaning of this? Oh, who is it? Silence, everyone! Forensics! Identify this body at once! It's terrible, pal! Please be quiet, detective! The ice sculpture is in the Winter Palace! Don't... Oh, uh, They've all melted, pal! Oh, who... What? 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 What's going on here? There are two victims now. This is all... Just like 18 years ago. 
Once again, the ice sculptures are melted. Again? And everyone related to me in 18 years ago is gathered here now. This is no mere coincidence. Don't you think so, Miles? Yes. The key to finding the truth in this case lies in the IS-7 incident. This is what I believe. <laughs> That's right! Uncle Ray thinks so too. Looks like it's time once again for Uncle Ray to tell you about the IS-7 incident. Wait, I want to know about the victim! Ah. Oh. To be continued. Jeez, that's a... We're getting a lot of continue points, one right, right after another. So, it does seem that, um... It does seem like we're getting multiple... Uh, not, um, not say multiple, like, we're getting, uh... What the hell am I trying to say? That like the two cases do coincide, actually. Uh, where... But I, I was trying to wonder, like, how the hell does the case 18 years got to do with this case? And, well, it's coming together be beautifully, it seems. It seems like evidence here and, like, you know, things are happening here and now. Just, well, it's it's all over the place. And it's amazing, though. Can't deny that. So I guess the next episode, we're going to once again go back a little bit in time and, well, see what's going to be happening. So... As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play uh, Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.